What up, it's your buddy Mark, coming with another Eminem unreleased song. Um, this one's Fly Away, came back in 2010. Um, didn't make the cut for recovery. Um, I know some of you don't like recovery because it was the sober Eminem. I loved it. It came out like two or three months after I got out of detox. So like, I felt it like um, a lot. And, and I really, I really, really liked it. There's so many bangers on there. Uh, I, I don't even go through them all. There's just a lot. Like, there's not really any bad songs on there. Which is, after Relapse, was only a year previous, uh, I didn't like Relapse. I didn't like the accents. There were songs I liked, but as far as an album, they, they couldn't. And it's so weird that they're only a year apart. One was 2009, one was 2010. And those two albums could not be any more different. But it just shows you that people, people that rap about, people that lie in their raps, it doesn't work. Not that Eminem was lying in Relapse, but he wasn't doing drugs then, and he was still rapping about drugs and, and like doing them. You know, you can rap about bad shit, but like, it just, it didn't work. And um, none of the accents was bad. I like the way he said it. Encore, he was on drugs. I, Encore had a lot of good, a lot of good songs. Um, and then he said Relapse. I was flushing him out because I, I definitely like Encore a lot more than Relapse. But anyway, I lo I love Recovery, and this this just didn't make the cut. But this is when he was getting back on track. This part goes on a little too long before he starts rapping. He was still on top even after that. But I just want to pause right there because how many people have felt like that? Got their self esteem back, their confidence is up, now they're going to strut. You know, it could be anything. Maybe you got some action last night maybe um like me i finally got a fucking haircut because i hated the way i looked um maybe lost that 10 pounds you're trying to get anything got some new clothes you just got you got your you got your swagger back you got a little extra oomph in your step and you're gonna strut you know and i love feeling that way <laughs> <laughs> ben Far, but I forgot about him. He was on the Green Bay Packers quarterback for years. And I remember he got in a car crash with his um, RV. So that's why he had that line. <laughs> uh, I like that part. Hold on. Uh. <laughs> White trash star. <laughs> That's not like you're dipping your soup inside your crackers.
Maybe he made this before relapse. He said, it took a long break between encore and um, relapse. But this one in the fit, relapse is throwing it off. He's not even dropping like great bars, but he's saying, I told you I'd be able to come back and take lightning bolts and throw it at you. And then he said, took this world by storm, you know, going with the theme of, you know, lightning, storm, you know, there's, there's not even going hard, but it's still bars. <laughs> How much that would be mind blowing taking off your shirt during a concert it's sweaty as fuck, nasty, and girl girls are fighting over it. A sweat covered t shirt. That's crazy. That's when you know you've made it, made it. <laughs> he said, he said these people are so pussy, they're afraid to be scared. <laughs> I love you, <laughs> <laughs> so they can stare at my ass crack. How's that for hindsight? <laughs> I can talk over this chorus, though. Not that this is a bad chorus, but good. So uh, doing a lot of pausing. Fly away. That was 2010. So retiring was on his mind. We're in 2020 right now. The only thing that's come, the only good thing that's happened in 2020 was this album. I've been to the top, nowhere else to go. I've heard it a few times, not for a long time. Like I said, it came out 2010. I just hope you enjoyed it if you haven't heard it as much as I did when I first heard it. You know, if, if you're, I don't want to call you a stan, I, um, or if, if you are a stan, uh, that's cool as long as you don't go as far as putting a girl in a trunk and driving off a bridge. But when I think of a stan, I think of someone, some people say Eminem has no bad songs. And it's like, come on, bro. I mean, even Eminem has admitted to uh, having a bad album. <laughs> so, of course, you know, I don't know. But um, if you're just a Die Hard fan, I just hope you enjoyed that if you never heard it. I'm going to try to keep finding unreleased um, good songs. And, um, you know, and I've already come across like two, two or three I've never heard before. And um, so anyway, um, hope you enjoyed that. Peace. Have a good day.